Thank you, Brother Steve. <clears throat> well, we come now to the fourth of the seven lampstands, or the seven churches that Christ addresses there at the beginning of his book, finally finishing out chapter two today. I know we're kind of going slow but sure today, but today looking at the church in Thyatira. And again, Christ, he is going to continue uh, the same pattern that we've seen throughout uh, the last three churches, um, beginning basically with a short lesson about himself, and that's going to be followed by a commendation, some good things that, that they have been doing together as a church, and then it's going to be followed by some, some criticisms, some pretty harsh criticisms that are intended both to correct them and challenge them as a church, and indeed us. And so last time we saw some pretty tough critiques, some pretty tough critiques there at the church at Pergamum due to the fact that the church, as we looked at, was, was compromising, compromising regarding mixing sinful acts together with uh, the life of the church, compromising on their beliefs. Christ compared them to that wicked prophet Balaam. You remember Balaam and the talking donkey we looked at last time? Balaam who compromised his, his ministry for money. That's the only reason why he served God. And we looked at that in detail. But for this church, the church at Thyatira, Christ, I would argue he has an even stronger rebuke. And he utilizes really one of the most notoriously evil, uh, one of the most obstinate, uh, one of the most sexually immoral people in the entirety of Scripture, namely this woman Jezebel. According to Christ, this church was, was tolerating that woman Jezebel, who according to him was teaching and seducing my servants, speaking of Christians, speaking of, of churches in this particular case. In other, words, in, in other words, she was trying to seduce them to, continuing on in that text, to, to practice.